boy is what I'll, all I have to say about that. Yeah, but isn't that kind of nice? It is. It's very yeah. sweet and it's very um, um, harmless. Mm. We've well, been I together mean, a long time, long though. Long time, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, so you guys would say you guys have loved each other long time? <laughs> He keeps tickling me. Uh, I, I, <laughs> this guy, he wishes. I haven't touched him once. Oh, and I and I and I always had a. I was. Oh, we're allowed to drink these. Yeah, we can nice. drink these, man. That's sparkling. Do you mind? This is sparkling water. Do you want flat? I don't take know why. Flat. I thought this was. Take this flat. is water. If we're out drinking. Take flat. Oh, yeah, it's it coffee. It's water. Liquid death water. Yeah. Where's this stuff from? Flint. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a good call. <laughs> Now, yeah. what's your lady? Is she? How long have you been together? Uh, a couple months, like five, six. Oh, months. you guys are in the honeymoon phase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just banging all the time. Uh, you ever kiss her boobs or anything? I do suck on her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, I suck her tits, and uh, <laughs> if she gets an abortion, I'll fucking kill her. <laughs> yeah. If I find out she's ever had one or even thought about Ooh, it, what will you do? I'll cut her fucking head off. You cut yeah. her tits off. Shria law. Molly, welcome back. Thank you. Um, so have you shot any porn since the last time you were on the show? Yeah, I was in Miami like probably less than a month ago. Okay, and what type of uh, video did you make in Miami? I did some interracial. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Maybe it was Gamma Ray after all. No, yeah. It okay. might have been. So what no. happened? Tell us about this interracial porn. It was fine. It was just like white porn, but it well. hurt a little more. So wait. <laughs> <laughs> some some Chinaman slammed you? <laughs> some half Irish? What are you saying happened? Hiring women to have a seminar, or are you having a seminar because you're hiring women? I'm having a sexual harassment seminar because we are hiring more women. What are women getting hired for? To work. Where? Here. Yeah, what work? Okay, that's what we should focus on, I think, is getting work. Yeah. That doesn't change the fact that Sexual harassment training's happening. I've got branch managers from different locations coming. Can someone sexually harassed? No, 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 no. When it, was it Tim? It was Mike. Mike harassed. Had to be Mike. I've never oh. even seen him work, the just thing, touching people. The, the question of who has sexually harassed is irrelevant because a lot it's of- David. It, okay. If we're talking sexual harassment, it's Cal's goatee. That thing looks like it's about to rape everyone in here. I think this is a good look. Okay, Shane, you're so in a bubble of harassment that you walk around, you hit nuts, you... Hitting nuts is fun. You like it. I don't like it, but it's not harassment. You say cum a lot. You can't talk cum here anymore? No more talking cum. What is this, fucking Russia? When you walked over here, I was telling him about last night's cums. Me and this girl both, she was on top. No, 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 Eddie, no, no, no. On, See, this is, no, you can't do that. Seminar, I call seminar. I pulled out, and she still cummed. It was like a ghost. She was coming after you pulled yeah, out? Yeah, I pulled out, and she was still... <laughs> she got hit with the electric boogie. She's not on the pill? No, nah, we, we're both Christians. Both cummed at the same time. Really? I don't know, maybe she lied. I'm a big fan from little old England, enjoying oh. my bath. And Who's I have a bath? question for Shane. Um, what is his opinion on age gap relationships? Um, still seems to be okay for the younger woman and the older guy, but not so much the other way around. So um, look forward to hearing your opinions. Okay, bye. Wow, that could be one of that's somebody's school teacher. She's in the bathtub. Is that British ASMR in a bathtub? <laughs> yeah, yeah, She's asking me about what, how I feel about older women. Yeah, what do you bring me down here to make me come, dude? No, are you trying uh -huh. to get me hard? Was this a setup? No, I would never this do anything like that. This is a setup, huh? No, I've never. You invite me over here, you put on some ASMR, give me fucking rock hard, give me some water. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> what are you dude. doing? <laughs> you make me jerk <laughs> off on this podcast. <laughs> Huh, no. <laughs> What's that? What does she want? I'm not. I, look, what, I, I, that's the question. No, we. Yeah, How do I feel about older ladies? I've never. I never seen that question. I never seen that woman. I'm glad she's staying clean. I don't know that lady. <laughs> yeah, here is all four breaks. All four. <laughs> yes, uh, for state inspection, you would need you would need all four of them. That's what. Uh... God, I. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Price. Um. Actually, you know what? You you look kind of familiar. Are you uh, are you from around here? I, I actually am. Uh, I live in yeah? my, my. This is actually my dad's shop. Oh, it's your dad's shop. Yeah, yeah. But so you have a little bit of power here. Oh come on! 
Well, I do have some power. Well, your mom just called your cum socks clogged the dryer and started a fire back at your parents' house. Shane? We're all in seventh grade. Wow. And then my dad Damn. and like three other guys that are <laughs> drunk dudes. <laughs> just so they take us to Notre Dame. Uh, anyway, long story, we get in a hotel room. We're whacking off. Sure. But before we whack off, one of the guys my dad invited, he's this like old fucking dude. Uh oh. Blacked out at the bar and they had to take him home. Oh, oh God. So they take him home, throw him on the bed in one of the rooms we have, and then they go back to the bar. Then me and my friends are like, let's, let's fuck with this guy a little bit. So we're slapping him, screaming in his face, shit yeah. like that. He's not waking up. <laughs> He's oh not boy. waking up. Oh Dude, boy. we set an alarm clock next to his head and set it for a minute later and turned the lights off. And everybody hid. It's one of my happiest memories. That's great. I Went thought off. you were going to say you jerked off. But on. then. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then. No, we didn't jerk off on him. Okay. But we jerked off. Everybody whacked off while he was asleep dude, this guy this guy was passed out laying in bed what did you say everybody how many kids eight dudes oh. eight, eight seventh graders oh. this guy this, this guy's, what, this like, guy's all around him like a fucking all seance like one, a seance one, <laughs> it was it was dude he was asleep oh. a dude was next to him in the bed and his body was shaking oh. <laughs> from the oh, no. was it hard Hard to get off with that old guy there? <laughs> I did. It was I guess seventh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so up. <laughs> oh my god. But, <laughs> but then everybody comes. Uh, we get done. <laughs> The room, by the way, the room stinks. <laughs> jizz, uh, it's just bo and jizz from seventh graders. Uh, 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 it's all that Capri Sun and, <laughs> and then, Cheeto uh, jizz. And then, and then my buddy goes, "All right." So as soon as we got, got done coming, everyone was like, "All right, let's keep fucking with this old guy." <laughs> like, dude, my buddy shoved his hand in his head. <laughs> what? You could go out to you know, the Ozarks or something and set up this beautiful tent and have a, you know, the trunk of your car full of supplies. You could probably just kick back there for, uh, until this whole thing's over. You know, I, could, I, could get a, I get a cabin in uh, like Montana, like a small shed and start mailing bombs. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I wouldn't joke around about that though. You know, <laughs> They'll 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 come they'll come and they'll come and get you just for just for kidding around about that. I was watching the Ted Kaczynski. Uh, yeah, don't don't do. Maybe clarify that you're just joking. Uh, right, about real the bombs? quick. Yeah, yeah. Or or maybe Not even mailing edit that. pipe bombs. Yeah, or, or or elder statesman here. Maybe even just edit that part out, Shane. I don't know. I would I would. Um, just, you can just Josh about, about bombs if, as long as you're not on an airplane. You can Josh, about to Josh about bombs. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I get nervous about these sorts of things. Uh, I've roasted Shane enough. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. You don't have to do it, dude. Don't let them pit us <laughs> against each other, dude. That's my dog. That's exactly what the left does, dude. <laughs> you and I. It pits us against each other, dude. You guys could make a movie together. It could be like, white men can't stop eating. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck you got on Tony. your shit? What the fuck? Shut up, Tony. This is a new Lululemon. Yeah, motherfucker. That's... Yeah, Tony, you're the one who's fucking gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tony, you look like an animal balloon with that blue shit on. Oh, bro. shit. I do. Yeah. I do. I was wondering what this looked like earlier, and now I realize it. I look like an animal balloon. Yeah. I look like an animal balloon. Hell what yeah, the fuck nah. does that make you? <laughs> we like a, you like a blueberry condom, nigga. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Comedy. Finish him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Finish him. I hey, love, Mark, that, I, I love I, that you're wearing a Jordan hoodie, even though you can't get up in the air. Uh, no, thing, no, I, no, no, no. That wasn't funny. The only thing you put in the air is your ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop tickling me. <laughs> Uh, Shane keeps tickling me. Uh, I, 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 this guy, he wishes. I haven't touched him once. <laughs> dude, oh, uh, I, I got to tell you, I lifted with The Rock yesterday. Dude, how was that? That guy's awesome. That's awesome. I feel like such a fool. I was, I did. Here's the thing. Yeah. I made fun of The Rock a while ago. Rick Cruz would kill him. I've been taking shots at The Rock, dude. You think you could get up The Rock? I fuck The Rock up, dude. I'm sick of him. Who would win in a fight, Terry Cruz or The Rock? The, the Rock. The really? Rock. Yeah. Wait, why are you sick of him? Uh, well, it started a long time ago. But I was hungover one day wake, waking up in a hotel. 
I just, you know, looked at Instagram. Yeah. It's just The Rock. It's like disrupting in my iron paradise. <laughs> I was like, dude, fuck this guy. Shut just up. Every, I was just like, shut the fuck shut up, Shut the fuck dude. up. Good God. Yeah. And then he posts like cheat day videos. Yeah, and it's like, like, I earned this, and he just eats cookies and shit. It's like, dude, <laughs> you Fast and Furious movies at the WWF. Fucking shut up. relax on yourself. Dude, now, you were the worst part of Moana. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think he's going to run for president. Would you vote for The Rock? Yes. It depends. Is he going to fucking secure the border? Yeah, yeah it depends. Is he, he going to lock her up? Because <laughs> in that case, I'm all Yo, I'm as, all yeah. In. If he I'm doesn't make that. True. Of course that clip exists on the internet. Nobody clips me two years ago going, I was wrong, The Rock's cool. I know. That clip's not out there. It's just me going like, fuck The Rock, I'm fucking working out, fuck that. He was flexing in your face. He was, I was hungover, I was in a hotel room, he was flexing in my fucking face, yeah. talking about clanging and banging in the Iron Paradise, and I was... He wouldn't care. He's like, dude, you're in the Iron Army now, dude. Don't now I joined it. the Iron Paradise. I was in the Iron yeah. Paradise. Now that I've seen the light of the Iron Paradise. <laughs> dude, he is massive. He's, he's huge. huge, dude. Yeah, that's fucked up to see him in person. Because he's got to be. Dude, I had guys from... Uh, where, and, he was the, and he was the coolest dude. That's he was like a nice... Sweet guy. Yeah, he was cool. Dude, I had guys from Wisconsin's football team come out to a show. And like, dude, I, I want... I wanted to stand on a box. They were all 6'5". It's fun, just, it's fun when the big boys come, right? It's nice. I just took, to see just the took a picture man. and shook hands, and I was like, Jesus yeah, fucking, fucking Christ. Yeah, fucking little tiny hands. In I was like a girl. I felt yeah. like a girl, dude. Yeah. So he was the man. He was the absolute he beast. He was one of the coolest people I've ever met. That's awesome. As far as just being nice. Really? Yeah, he was awesome. We were sitting in the sauna, dude. I got to watch The Rock. The you got to watch him sweat. <laughs> yeah. Sitting across my body and <laughs> his body. We were just staring you at You should have caught. I mean, I know I got to stop being gay about him, but you should have caught like a thimble of his sweat and just fucking went. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. It didn't cross my mind. <laughs> like, uh, dude, don't be weird about this. You've been so cool the whole time. Let me just, let me just consume can a I thimble. Can I have some of your sweat? <laughs> can I have a thimble of your sweat? Yeah. He was... Uh, we were just talking. He was asking about comedy, about how, like, what was the first bit you did that you knew you could do stand-up? No, that's good. And then, because for him, it was promos in wrestling. And he was like, the first one I did, and he, it was funny, the way he talked to it was like, I didn't know. And he was like, one of the things I used to do is I would say, what's your name? And then I would say, it doesn't matter. What I remember. It doesn't matter what your name oh, Yeah, That shit fucking, he did, dude. He was kind of, now you bring that up, he was a genius with that, of like, jabroni. I, it doesn't he matter. Said jabroni. I said jabroni. I was like, that was the first thing I said. I was like, jabroni caught on. He said that was the Iron Sheik. That was one of the Iron Sheiks. Oh, they could say yeah. Jab- he would say jabroni to the Iron Sheiks. He took are- the Iron Sheik tight. Um, but yeah, it was it was wild. like him talking about like uh, it doesn't matter. Was dude that hit dude he so wasn't hard? Extreme like mankind or like those guys that would jump off the ropes and like go through a table and shit. So he was like, I didn't want to do that, so I needed to get good at promos. Good call. And he was like, that's how I, I did it. Yeah. And they gave Pretty it. He, he was also, yeah, he was fucking jacked. And so. then he got, yeah. Does he, do you have to enter, does he have to like make up his own finisher too? Is that like a thing you sit and brainstorm? Yeah, probably. Like, Rock bottom was so nice. Rock bottom was tight. It was very easy to do to little brothers. And the people's elbow. People's elbow. Was, I mean, dude, on, anytime someone was laying down, it was just real quick. Yeah. People's elbows now. I was. I got into a mandible claw. Was just, you know, that I was a fucking fucked up stick one. my hand in people's mouth. That was a fucked up one. <laughs> that was a real fucked up one. <laughs> the stunner was also that. Yeah, that's a visionary. Yeah, that's a visionary move, dude. Kick to the gut. Of course, I'm going forward. And it's like, where's he going? Oh shit! Oh <laughs> no! Now my neck's broken. <laughs> now <I'm, laughs> now I sh- curb stomped myself on his <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Whatever. No, I just fell over. Those fuckers and everything. Yeah. Now this never. guy pulled me forward. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. You told me that th- yesterday, and I was just going, what the fuck? Yeah, and then they Rogan posted a photo of it, and I was standing way too close to the camera. I looked fucking you 10 looked times massive, the size of dude. everybody. It's awesome. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. That's fucking sick. Yeah. You should get someone to like set you up like that in you every You can do photo. it. If you take a step forward in every... I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident, but you can easily do that. I might start doing I've that. I've accidentally done it in several pictures. That's fucking nice. Especially when you're in a group, and it kind of bows... Yeah, and then I I tried my best to avoid the outside because I literally look like it. Look, I take up half the photo. It looks like I'm the size of like three other people next to me. That's pretty tight. <laughs> it's never flattering. No, that dude. They, that, no, in that context. every read every comment on that Rogan picture. It's like holy shit, Shane's fucking gigantic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
I heard he's building one in Harrisburg. Fuck me. Oh, is it? Is it? No, that's where. Oh, Shane, that's where Shane's Can you imagine up? See, fucking- I forget every podcast. I'm supposed to do a fucking podcast tomorrow. I thought it was. Sorry, I checked my phone, but. <laughs> Are we boring you? That was hilarious. I forgot that or... podcast. I'm going to call him and say, oh, shit, that's Call tomorrow. him right now. And, and, go, and, but when you call him, you him now that you know it's tomorrow, you don't have to go, yeah. oh, do we have a I forgot tomorrow? it was tomorrow. And be a phony. I was walking but now to you get know. coffee. It's not for I like to call people when you know. I'm walking You don't around. even need to call him because it's been confirmed that yeah, you have you a podcast. It. You have a I know. He did the right thing. He texted me and said, we're good for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You haven't missed it. Why did you text me? I didn't text you. Let's look at our text. I didn't text you. We were texting about the podcast. Because you knew. That's the you thing. Knew. He's used to the confirmation text. No, because we already confirmed. Did I we confirm? I asked him if he was going to come back. Are you going to be back in time from Phoenix? And you're like, yeah, 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 I'll be back. We should do ecstasy. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> See? Real discussions. <laughs> the last thing we talked about was uh, I said John can't come. And that was it. That was the last thing. I said John can't come October 3rd. You said the N-word. Then I said, <laughs> I <didn't know>. oh, <laughs> wow. oh, neighbor. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then you said, connect us on text. And then you and me and John texted that John was gay. Yes, we did. And that, that was that. That was how it ended. Yeah. And I was on the road and I was, I wasn't really thinking about it. And then today when I was walking to get coffee, I was like, oh shit, I forgot. I might be doing that. So I called you. You just trying to make this boring, or what's the goal? <laughs> well, I just want to prove my innocence. Okay. Um, <laughs> listen, John McKeever, you're a talented motherfucking man, and we wish you had you on the podcast. Unfortunately, you're too busy for us. But I am annoyed that he's not here. I am annoyed too. While everybody does know how brilliant you are, and I do mean, I this, know what you got mad about. You're I know, brilliant. Yeah. I mean this, and I, I know you hate it when I say it, but it's important that it's yeah. that it's said. I know you hate it. But you are fucking brilliant. But McKeever is also <laughs> brilliant. Is. No, you're going to need that. This yeah. is going to be heavy. Control. Get the control. Yeah, just a little. It's like a yeah. clip. Yeah, yeah. You but McKeever is brilliant, and he deserves his shout outs, too. <laughs> McKeever, deserve, McKeever writes, directs, edits. Yeah, well, you both write. And we actually. I've heard you tell yeah, me these ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll take an idea. Like, he'll take that joke and be like. He's really right, talented at the genre. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, McKeever, monster. I know why you were mad about the phone call. Why, why? Because you felt like I was like. Oh, great. I got to do this podcast. Yeah, I did feel that. And in your mind, you're doing me a big favor. No, I don't think I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, you're doing me a huge fucking... This is No, no, not in your mind. In the world's mind. (laughs) (laughs) McKeever, we love you. But that's what you were mad about. Yes. You were like... I was like, what's up, dude? Oh, he's not taking this seriously. But I don't think that I'm doing... Yo, is that podcast today? You're like, yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, it is today. That is That is. I am giving you a handout today. No, not a handout. I am giving you a fucking handout. Not a handout. I'm shitting right now. You're going to call me? I'm giving you a handout. You called me during the battle. You fucking moment. piece of shit. That's yeah, you were you being said. a piece of shit. No, I was you being a being friendly a guy. Oh that, I was pod, oh, that pod is today? Yeah, it's a podcast. You called that pod. I said, are we doing the podcast today? No, the. no, no. You said, are we doing that pod said today? the podcast, that. dude. Yeah, you go, the one with, Flagrant too. you called him Charlemagne. <laughs> and I was like, Charlemagne? As Charlemagne. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, no, it's not even that one. <laughs> like the first Holy Roman Emperor. No. All right. No. He did pick it because of Charlemagne, right? 800. Look it up. 800 AD. Google it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong. It might you be are 500. Wrong. No, it's 800 AD. I think it's 800. Yeah. No. Charlemagne the ruler. You not can just it. type in Charlemagne, dude. Not 800. No, 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 no. If you type in Charlemagne on Google, no, it's going to come up. No, it knows I'm texting from New Charlemagne, York. Charlemagne, the God's bigger than It, it knows I'm <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> he goes, absolutely. What a, what a bum that old emperor <laughs> yeah. was, huh? Well, what is Completely interesting is that it, it's spelled differently. Yes. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So Charlotte was spelled with an A. He spelled with an A. Watch those previous searches. Okay. Watch those previous searches. Charlemagne gay? Question mark. Okay. See? Now go with the Holy Roman Emperor, whatever you claim. What year? 774. He was anointed. 768. Reigned 768 through 814. Yeah, you, you kind of. I got it. I know when he was. Oh, he died 814. That's Yeah, you know. but 800. See when he was. That's when you count it. Well, see when he was uh, an, an, announced Damn. as the Holy Roman oh. Emperor. Damn, dude. Guys, it's almost no like one that's in this room could have said 800. <laughs> Maybe you. Thank you. What do you mean? You would have never. Look at that. And the first. Emperor of the Romans from 800. He was announced as the Emperor of the Romans in 800. No. Yes. No, dude. I'm Why are you sorry. saying no? I'm reading. I'm sorry, dude. I'm reading. Okay, you don't have to show off, off, dude. Show off. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> and he divorced Luftgard in fucking 800, too. As soon as he got announced as Emperor, he as got rid do. of his fucking baby. He's up, bro. As you he do. really yeah. got, he divorced his lady when he got announced. That's, That's some pretty fucking shit, sick. Dude. Yeah. It's kind of impressive, actually. Yeah. Um, 
I'm having fun now. Yeah, now you are. Listen, let's wrap up this podcast. <laughs> um, listen, uh, Shane Gillis, make sure you go check out gilliankeeves.tv tonight. Make sure you buy that. We're all by it. We're all watching it. Um, Shane, Damn. you know I fucking love you. I think you're I absolutely love brilliant. You. I mean I that you sincerely. Guys. I think love you're fucking you, so talented. And I'm glad that the internet has given you an opportunity to show people how fucking talented you are. I think are it's really yeah. good. And make their decision uh, for themselves about you, and it looks like it's worked out. Yeah. And I know I know this is tough for you to hear, but it makes me really happy when you get articles written about you in the fucking New Yorker saying, like, yo, this guy's the fucking truth, and I think that you are doing amazing things, and I wish you the most success. I know. If you think about it, getting fired off SNL, probably the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> in a way. <laughs> yeah. Guys. This is it. Tom Cruise. No, I, I just did this on Rogies. <laughs> just had this exact same battle. You took our discussion I've from had, Westchester, Pennsylvania. I don't want to hurt you. you. No, hold on. I've had this argument. You took our discussion no, from no, Westchester, no. Pennsylvania, a my, bar in Westchester, Pennsylvania. With Chris O'Connor for years. Chris <laughs> O'Connor puts Tom Cruise number one. Can you just, I've, I've had this fight with so can many Can you just people. stop for a second? <laughs> You took our you spirited just discussion. My post, baby. This can you, was nothing. Can you, just, <laughs> can you just stop for one moment? You took our spirited discussion from I a bar in Westchester, Pennsylvania, <laughs> and you just took that over to Rogan. And you're asking. No, no, no. I've I've had that conversation many times. Where did Rogan land on this? Tom Cruise is the greatest. No, Ari was drunkenly, adamantly defending uh, Tom Cruise. I, I, I'm just which is to... fair because that's that's the whole point of the argument is you can defend. Tom's got some hits. Tom, Tom's but, longevity's crazy. But if you compare him to, like, for me, like, Hanks, I'll Hanks. take Hanks over Cruz. Yeah, our Hanks. conversation was Hanks. I'll take DiCaprio over Cruz. Di DiCaprio. Daniel Day-Lewis over Cruz. No, not Daniel. Daniel Brad Lewis Pitt. I'll take not Brad Daniel Pitt Day -Lewis over Christian Cruz. Bale. Christian Bale. You would not take Daniel Day-Lewis over Cruz. You There's would. no way in hell you would. You would That's crazy talk. Name it. When's the last Name it. big movie he Name it. Out. Name if you had to eliminate one of them from history. Who's better at acting? No, eliminate their work that's, from history. That, again, this is where the argument Daniel Day-Lewis' last great movie was 2007? Yeah. Lincoln. There Will Be Blood? Oh, Lincoln. There Will Be Blood. Lincoln, Lincoln was phenomenal. But that's so Can you imagine if Tom Cruise played Lincoln? He would have done it. <laughs> Can you imagine how bad that would be? It's as short as Lincoln. Can you imagine <laughs> yeah, how bad yeah, that yeah. would be? No. Just eliminate their work. You could do without Daniel Day-Lewis. You cannot do without Tom Cruise. That's a fact. You're saying I couldn't do without the Mission Impossible? Low key, I don't think movies? you could. I don't think you could do without. I haven't watched. I haven't watched one of them since the first. Top Gun. I don't think you could do without Top Gun. Top Gun. I don't think you could do without Days of Thunder. It it asserts American dominance in Hollywood. So. <laughs> Come I on. hear you. It does. It does. Assert, it asserts dominance. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I agree. Top Gun God rules. God damn it. Top Gun rules. So does you Rocky. You had a whole bathroom break to figure out that sentence. Dominance. <laughs> nah, I came back. I just came back. Rocky, I tried to Rocky assert myself does the in the combo. Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Yo, Sylvester okay. Sloan, bad motherfucker. That's a Jewish though. agent classic. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you love that movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, I think last it's, Samurai, it's Tom. Last it's, Samurai Rules. He's got a lot. Obviously, Yo, he's one of the greatest. But Hanks, I give you. I don't I remember who Jack else. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, possibly. Mm -hmm. You name someone else after Hanks. I, was I could do banger. without Jack. Christian I know Bale. that's crazy. Christian. I could do without Jack. I love Christian. Love Christian. Nah, but you could do without Christian Bale. I, I, I'm talking. No, you can't Why? do without The Dark Knight Rises, Batman. bro. You can't do without Batman. That's you can't. Christian Bale's a bad motherfucker. You can't do that. Better than Top Gun. The Big Short. I just watched. He's fantastic. Oh, yeah, I feel like in you it. love Top Gun, the new one. Love yeah. it. Fighter. I thought the new one. The Fighter. Phenomenal. Sucked. Cock. Let's Ooh, talk about it. That. Let's talk about it. I couldn't believe Let's talk how about dumb it. that fucking Let's talk movie was. It was fun, but it was cheesy as fuck. Yeah. Talk to me. It talk was cool. Me. It was cool. Don't do. Don't it was fun. fucking. Don't, don't do no, I'm dare. A, I'm don't gonna, do dare moonwalk. I'm going to put the nice parts in. Tell me it's It was sucked. cool looking at planes. I liked watching planes. <laughs> okay. I was sitting there going, okay. damn, that's a cool fucking plane. <laughs> yeah. And then when the, they oh, crashed and found each other. That was. Uh, which is impossible. Not if, impossible. If Maverick, happens all the time. If Maverick then, died at the end, it would have been a fucking happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. If Maverick died yeah. at the end, it would have been a fucking Why would Maverick die? He's the greatest pilot that's ever existed. He's not the greatest. He got shot down by some fucking Russian bullshit. Yeah, that's true. He's American, Saving bro. his boy. <laughs> Not because he wanted to get I'm shot. I'm not saying the movie. Saving his right. boy. I might have and been he wasn't harsh. in the fifth generation fighter. He wasn't a fifth generation. Guys, come on. There were some real <laughs> ching chongs in those planes, and they were fucking... <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> also, they didn't even, like, show you who the bad guy is. That's the only they gripe I had. so much... But but that is a capitalism Crap, issue. Crap, dude. That's a capitalism issue. He was great in the movie. There's no denying. Of Tom course he was. Now you're more back Great at being top Listen, gun. here's the reality. 
The movie was Mel Gibson perfect. and Tom Cruise are in the same league to me. I'll say I mean, that. Mel Gibson is one of the greatest ever. I agree. If I he doesn't it, have that yeah, one moment now, where he spoke freely, then he probably is looked at. <laughs> the real, moments, I'm yeah. a Scottish two moments. The real brave part. I watched yeah. my wife. I watched my that my wife. Was. You may take <laughs> yeah, my career. <laughs> you're not you're never going to take my career. I uh, DiCaprio over Tom Cruise for I, sure. I agree. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll give you to Cap I'll give you to Cap over Denzel? Tom Cruise. Denzel. I mean, Denzel. Denzel's my number one. Really? Damn, that's <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's... Denzel's my number one. Obviously. Give me his. Why'd you look at Alex? That was a hard ass laugh. Obviously. Why'd you that look at Alex? That was a hard ass laugh. Denzel, Denzel's my number one. <laughs> Obviously. These are my number one. one. Three movies. Equalizer one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. In in all seriousness, Denzel for me is the only guy. That... Denzel is Pacino to me. Oh, but are you one of those Pacino's that's amazing. like Pacino plays stop. the same Hold role? Around. No, no, stop. they all play the same. Stop, role. Stop, stop for one second. But Denzel, you're, if you watch, if you're you watch taking Training a Day, hacky director take if right now. If you watch Training Day again, you're gonna go, God damn, that guy spoke gibberish. This is that this entire is a, movie. Oh, I watched it. Gibberish. Stop. 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 I, I this like is a director take that, movie. that has been popularized Listen on the internet. To, there's no anyway. go find. You can even look this up. There's a there's a director that goes. Pacino, I wouldn't even look at him, but blah, blah, blah is this. Oh, I don't think I'm a director or smart about this stuff, but I can tell when someone's making up lines. Training Book of day? Eli? I love Book of Eli. Fantastic I can't movie. believe that you as a Catholic would I love not show respect to Denzel, who makes sure he puts what do you mean show God respect in to him? every single movie I love he does. Or historian, yeah. Glory. I love Denzel. Glory? Love Glory was incredible. John Q. John Q. Wait, phenomenal. why are you guys arguing? Like I don't think that. Man I was on the one fire. who named Denzel Man in on this fire. argument. I was the one who said Denzel's and better than Tom laughed. Cruise in this argument. It's your glasses. I laughed at you for we saying can't Denzel was Man, the number one. I was making fun of you for liking so Blackbeard. Better than Denzel. <laughs> that was the joke. I went. Of course, that's obviously your number one. That was the joke. Denzel <laughs> is a better actor than Leo, and that's not questionable. It's Leo not takes better roles, though. That's, it's not questionable. Leo's roles are so I, I fucking great. Question that. No. Oh no, man, that's not right. I, Leo's Gilbert Grapes, bro. That's just fire. I'm like, I know. Hey, I, I Google question it. your whole I'm existence. Not, right why? Now. Nah, bro. Denzel over Leo. Hey, yo, I, no, I'm look, just saying it's questionable. Get, it's get, like get, hold on. Give, give me your Leo take that beats Denzel in Philadelphia. That's fair. I am give my, me your Leo take that beats Denzel in Glory. Give me your Leo take that beats I, Denzel I like in Q. Malcolm X. I like Leo and Django. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it's a You thing. got one. I like you Leo. got one. Yeah. You got one that's really good. You, I like Can we Leo. do that scene? I like Leo hey, a lot. let's of... do the Django scene. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I like Christoph Waltz better than I like Tom Cruise as an actor. Great actor. Christoph is a monster. Oh, but See, but now we're talking about Denzel. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to pivot. Oh, I mean, that's how this entire thing started. Please rewind. No, no, Listen, no, no, I no. said Denzel was better than Tom Cruise. I now told you my, Denzel's my number you're one. Getting, you're so getting, we're talking about Denzel my number one. You're triggered right now, and I apologize. Let's just talk about number one. Let's just talk about number one. Denzel number one. No. Okay, who's number one? <laughs> Go number one. What are we talking? Better actors? The, the skill in acting or better? The sunglasses resume. break everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just breaks everything. It ruins wear, everything. I'm going to wear sunglasses after No, it just Not sucks. I'm going to be sucks. furious if you it do. Yo, Leo, I don't know who's... I think Leo might be better. Skill it's, level or resume? Resume, uh, resume Give better. me one movie that beats the four movies we just said. Catch me if you can. Fantastic. Yeah. Better than Malcolm X. Better than Philadelphia. Better than Malcolm X. Better than Glory. Wolf of Wall Street. I never saw Glory. Glory Wolf of Wall Street. He was a side Wolf character. of Wall Street. Better than John Q. Better than Q. Better than Man on Fire. Man yes. on Fire. Uh, yes. yes. Man on Fire. Was I, I, think, I think Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's better than John Q. Uh huh. Oh, oh my God. Fantastic we can't movies. even talk anymore. I, I mean, I guess the range what? of movies Leo takes is I don't also crazy. What you like movies? Directors, you like movies? I don't like even movies. think that's that. Like that have no black people in them. There's not one black there's character in in uh, Hollywood now. Hollywood movie. Tarantino. Historically, never cast black people in his best <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think De Niro is better than Tom Cruise. Uh, listen, with all due respect to De Niro, no. Why? <laughs> Not even close. Why? Because he it. does the same character in every movie? Mm. Okay. If you're making the Pacino argument, you're not going to bestow that on De Niro. No, no, no. The, the Pacino argument. Nah, wasn't, De Niro did Taxi Pacino Driver. Was, he did Deer no, Hunter. No, no, you're right, right. Yeah, but, I listen. just watched. Yeah, this is funny. I watched Deer Hunter last night. You know, you know what sucks about Deer Hunter? Hmm. It's supposed to be in Western PA. All of a sudden, for no reason. When they go deer hunting, they're in the Rocky Mountains. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but it, oh no! Oh no! Oh, it just, no. oh it the just, world! The world has collapsed, guys. What just, are we ever gonna do? I was <laughs> watching last night. I was like, 
<laughs> oh, I, oh, that hurt. I that thought hurt, about it. That hurt him a little bit. That hurt him. That one hurt him a little bit. That one did hurt you a well, little no, bit. Well, no, it just right wasn't there. that outrageous. That, that one hurt you a little bit. No. Listen, there's deer everywhere, no. bro. It's not just yeah, in yeah, fucking yeah. Western PA. Yeah, but there are poor outrageous. people from Clarendon, Pennsylvania. And oh, also, white people have it hard. We know, oh, dog. Oh, so God. You got from Western PA. They took away our thing. Make a man have deer in Western PA. What are we going to do? Guys, I knew we were going to end this on a fucking sour note. I know. It's the glasses. The second you put the glasses. Right. Let's go, go back! back! Right, listen, oh, my listen. blue eyed baby. Actually, no. That I love my blue eyed baby. No, 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 I didn't win. I didn't win. I, it's an ask. You didn't win? It's an ask. It's an ask? It's an ask. Right. Handshake deal. ask. Deal, deal, deal. Deal, deal. No, you tricked me again. Oh, you can't. Hold on. Hold on. You don't think it's... Weird. Yeah, go. That in the middle of the deer hunter, it's all Western PA. You look cool as shit. What I'm trying to say is, I like that. Uh, you look good. I support whatever you, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. I would never I criticize can't you for even that. Take them off. Yeah, they look cool as shit I'll on take you. Them off Let me see them. They look good on you. I don't want it. I don't want it because I want to connect with you. Go. No, but don't you think it's outrageous that I, like it's clear? Is it billed as here's Western the, PA? Yeah, here's yes. the thing. The yeah. whole time, it's yeah, literally it's a, movie in the a steel 70s, factory bro. in Pittsburgh. It's Fifty years ago. Why? Toss in the Rocky Mountains out of nowhere. Because there's right. snow capped giant mountains. There's mountains right, there's mountains right then, there. Right. There's in mountains Pittsburgh? an hour south of Pittsburgh. I know, but they're not snow capped Rocky Mountains. Of course they're snow capped. There's Pokemon? Appalachian That's where Mountains. I'm from, dumbasses. The <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're telling me there's no snow caps in the Appalachian Mountains. Yes. What did John Denver sing about? Blue Ridge Mountains? Blue Ridge Mountains. West Virginia. West, West Virginia. Virginia. What is one hour south of Pittsburgh? But wait, they're not mountain. They're not snow capped. There's not mountains. There's not snow capped in the winter. They're not There's snow not snow capped in the okay, winter. Now you're talking. Oh, now we have seasonal. Are you going seasonal on us? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Bro, oh, are you guys <laughs> dumb? Do you not understand? I think we got to sing some John Denver. Help me out. This, you're I'm smart. Hey. I'm trying to figure this out. No, don't do, don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. You're saying, oh, the snow can only be there all around the years? I mean, can we? Fuck, that was so cool. Before we get out of here. This is the last thing we're talking about, and then we're stopping this podcast. Please. <laughs> that was unnecessary. You heard. You have nothing to do tonight. You're going to go back to your fucking No, I didn't apartment. think I was going to get fucking drunk, dude. You knew you were going to get drunk. No, I did not. You have roommates to go back to where you're going to have the same discussion that we're having right now. <laughs> I'm going to go lay down and go, God damn it, dude. I might have a problem. Okay. National service. <laughs> I mean, trying to what, what about it? of ourselves. Don't you, <laughs> don't awesome. you think, listen, I'm not having a fucking epiphany. Where listen, you <laughs> don't you feel as if every American should do some form of national service? Well, okay, Vivek Ramaswamy. What the fuck Wait, are we talking about, bro? Yeah, you got to yeah. like pass a civics exam to vote and do some kind of national service. Yeah. Blah, blah, oh, I don't blah. believe in that passing You believe exam. in that? No. I was going to say, you probably don't even believe in like you need to have proper ID to vote. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Having an idea is racist. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I guess it's hard to get one. Yeah. As long as that be racist. That's not my argument. That's <laughs> Who's other people's. The radical left. Yo, some people say it's racist hey, to have to show ID to vote. Hey, Shane. Hey, Shane. You know, some I'll, people say that. Hey, Shane. Some people who are people. I don't know. I guess we'd have to Google it. Ah, uh, okay. You know, he was a cop, right? What? No, look, look at Happy's. Look at Happy's. What? The boys. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that this is this guy was a cop. Oh, you're a fraud. Bro. <laughs> Fuck the police, bro. <laughs> Two different worlds, dude. Listen, Listen, Blue Lives Matter on this That's podcast. crazy. You were a cop? Nah, I was a court officer, but... Same I mean, thing. Same you got a badge, thing, you got a bro. gun. I would we, we never, we bro. Dude, isn't it crazy when people have perceptions of you and then it doesn't meet up to I what know, the reality is? Oh, man. National service. What was national service? <laughs> do you believe? <laughs> Mandatory. I feel like Mandatory. things are getting misconstrued here. What, what, are you, what are you trying to say? The, the show ID thing. I think that it was, I wasn't trying to offend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was clear. I was joking. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me get him his glasses. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it's him his okay, glasses. Right. glasses. Nah, we okay. good. We're moving on. National service. Yeah. Trial fight. <laughs> national service. Like do you it. think that every, do you think that every American should no. do some form of national service. No. Interesting. Not at all. No. You don't think you got to be part of this? It's one of my biggest regrets that I never... Well, by national service... Well, we didn't do What it, do you mean? So I wish I did. What do you mean by national service? I did. You did? Yep. You, why? Because you were a court officer? Air, Air Force. Yeah, Air Force. Well, you tried to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I tried to be part of the Army. I was... 
a walled out foot. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I quit. <laughs> gang, gang. What if you had to do just one year? It was, it sucked. Your schedule, Dick, I can do it. No, no, now, obviously. No, no, but then. I do, I do like this idea. Like right out of high school, one year. One year, do something. I don't give a fuck. You can go look after. What was it that uh, Sebastian said? He was like, you don't necessarily have to do foreign. It doesn't have to be military. He's like, I don't support military service. But he was like, national service, working domestically within the United States, go repair a fucking you know, national park. Work for the park. Take all I the people that. from Beverly Hills, make them work on the border wall. I believe that. Have them understand what the fuck is going on. Yeah. But we, like, we know if that was in place, then all the rich people will have their kids just like, ah, oh, you just have to go to some easy place. They're always going to do that, but at least we get an idea of what... I think you should make some sacrifice to be part of the country. It's very easy just to accept all the beautiful things that it has. And I think if, if you just put a fucking, what, a, a year? A year of your life? I wish I did it. I'm a, My dad did it. I didn't do it. And I regret it now at 39 years old. 18 and 19. 18, 19. Yeah. And, and my, dad upped his, my dad upped his card. So he, he chose to go in. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and his fucking... All of his brothers and shit did the whole, oh, I'm studying or, oh, I'm in college, whatever, that kind of stuff. And I wish I fucking did it. That's a regret I have. You wish you were a troop? Not necessarily it, <laughs> it, Not necessarily that. Some form of national service. It, more now here. we're drinking. No, no, more here. But if it meant to be that, then sure. It's the best time of drinking. No, but for real. <laughs> Damn, if it I meant to be that, then for real. Troop. I, wish I, I wish I did I something. Stay with it. I wish I did something. Been a Just Navy suit. one week in a month. <laughs> <laughs> one week in a month. Yeah. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Shane said he wished he, he was a Navy I SEAL. I should have been a fucking Special Forces guy. <laughs> you could have been a Special Forces. You'd be like a beluga whale that we put you in the fucking... In, in oh, don't be nasty because you were getting teary-eyed about not being a troop, you fucking pussy. <laughs> 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 no, you, good luck getting anybody. That's also, it's anti-American, dude. <laughs> it's anti-American. It's anti-American to want to be part of America? No, to force people to yeah, be part of America. Yeah, it takes away yeah, freedom. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. There's, America. there's something is beautiful. the draft anti-American? People have argued that. Yeah. Do you believe it's anti-American or is it? Not if we need it. So it's like we, World War II. Like it's an existential. You could argue threat. that you need it for social harmony for everyone to do one year to feel invested in. The yeah, situation. but that's less of an imminent threat. This is the is imminent it? danger. Or are we so polarized now that we can't? I think vote? you just care so little about the Jews that World War II didn't seem like that big of a deal. To you. <laughs> <Sure>. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a sick <laughs> laugh. <laughs> rat. Yeah. 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 I think doing a little something. I think doing a little something. I'm on board with that. One year. One year. Yeah. Send go, one year. Is go work in a national park, dude. You can work in a national park. You can work over at a border. You could work as part of the, I don't know. Yeah, Peace Corps. Peace Corps. I think one year. And USO brings, comedy shows. And it brings people together where it's like how New York brings so many cultures together. Absolutely. It's like, New York doesn't bring that many cultures together. Yes, it does. You get to New York, you better assimilate. Nah, but you more. Better act, you better be far left, bro. Yeah, but if you That's go to true. like Alabama. Like bro, if you yeah. go to Alabama, I, I don't know. Here, it's there. I wonder if they're more accepting of, I don't know. New York, you're kind of forced to have to. New York, you got to go. If you say, I'm a Republican, they go, you get out. Here's the thing New Yorkers, they say, go to Staten Island. Exactly. New Yorkers, <laughs> New Yorkers say, if you're not a Republican, then you're a weirdo. And then New Yorkers also be like, yo, no homo, bro. Like, chill. Like, why are you trying to make all these gay references? That's wild gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right, we're talking real about New Yorkers. New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Transplants are super yes. liberal. Transplants yes. are super liberal. Yes. Actual yes. New yes. Yorkers yes. are like, yo, what's Two going on over here? Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say New York's probably not the most accepting place in America. Ooh. Really? I feel I we're did. the most. Well, let him let him make the. No, let no. Make I, make... Honestly, as Here, a native I... New Yorker, I feel we're the most accepted. Can yeah. I can yeah. I chime in on your behalf? Because I think when you come here, every transplants... single person here votes the same way. That's wrong. Oh. We had a we had a Republican mayor. When? All of them. Yeah. Well, Eric Adams is a... when. Bloomberg is a registered Republican Giuliani. for his entire life. Giuliani, Giuliani Republican. DeBasio. We like Republicans. DeBasio. He's a gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, that was back before politics were as polarized. I think. I, think I don't think it's fair. I, I think it's reasonable to say any area that the entire populace votes the exact same way, be it Alabama or New York, isn't the most accepting. But on a city level, isn't that most places? So New York most places had. are pretty one way or the other like yeah it, there's four states where your vote really matters all right go outside and say there's only two genders 
See if somebody doesn't scream in your face. No, I, look, I'm with you to a large degree. Bro, no, you, no, you, no. you part of a different New York, bro. Like, Didn't we vote in the dude that lied about his old fucking resume? Yeah, um, he lied about some gay shit. Yeah, 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 that guy was awesome. But yeah, I mean, that guy ruled. Yeah. But he was a Republican, was and we voted him in. Because like, his City? resume was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catherine, yeah. if you can't forget that guy. Right, man. Regardless, I'm just, I think that's a reasonable thing to say. I don't know how accepting New York is. It's not the most I, accepting, but I think you're also you confusing transplants with right, like native New Yorkers. Because I do the same thing. Certainly. I moved here, I and they're no just doubt. yelling, and you're like, what the fuck? I thought I was yeah, a moderate yeah, yeah. person. Y'all are making me feel like yeah. I'm an asshole. But forever. I think a lot of those people move here because they feel like they can be free to have their like very progressive opinions. And I think a lot of New Yorkers that are like born and raised here are just like, yo, what's up with these blue-haired chicks? I'm I agree with that. Yes, wow. yes, yes. I agree. Yes. The guy on the garbage I'm truck is— more transplants. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, transplants are okay. the worst. Certainly. So, they're so, the worst. And I, I think, think New York is a lot of New York. I think they're <laughs> the loudest ones. Yeah, that is true. In New York. And they're the ones that like post the opinions on social media. But like actual New Yorkers, I don't Way think cooler. they're tripping. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us, a lot of natives got pushed up. So it, it is a battle right now in terms of native New Yorkers and transplants. Yeah. Mm. It's probably 50 50. Oh, day one, that in New the York. city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you build the butcher. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Bill though. Yeah. Bill don't butcher. get me into the natives. I told you we were trying to avoid this whole Please thing. And tell you me there's one Tom Bill. Cruise character or Denzel that's better than Bill the Butcher, Daniel Day Lewis. Oof. I'll wait. <laughs> I mean, Tom Cruise. You know the story with in was he in Boomerang? What? <laughs> what? The A. Murphy movie? Wasn't he in Boomerang? Wasn't well, he in Boomerang? Hell, Murphy. We gotta end the podcast. This is the fucking Indian guy. guy. Please, this has been Flake, man. Please delete the last Boomerang, two hours. Bro. Go check out Boomerang. Shane's favorite movie. Peace. Please Go delete Go check everything. out Beautiful Dogs no, on Netflix. Please delete everything. Go check out Dogs on Netflix. Make sure you check delete out. Delete the Netflix special. Shane delete and Matt's it. podcast. Yo, check out Matt's special on YouTube yeah. right now. Speed Absolutely lights, hilarious. Fire. And go check out Stuff Islands. Uh, our boys yes. O'Connor and uh, Tommy Pope. And then when the time is ready, make sure you go and check out and support Tires, which is a hilarious show. Someday. And I, I hope it breaks the fucking mold and uh, and I hope amazing things happen from right, it. I'm really delete it. everything. But we will mostly <laughs> delete, uh, mostly. Skip the whole thing until right now. Just put out a one minute podcast <laughs> of just the shout yeah, outs. Good. Dude. No, and someone just goes, ha! Wait. Gay! Yeah. One, of those Irish, one of those Irish guys. I was just praying. <laughs> Bothered him because he was gay, probably. <laughs> yeah. Bob Corby's not gay, dude. Not all preacher gay, especially back then. No, I'm saying Alexander. Alexander. Alexander, gay. Might be questionable. Might be questionable. Not gay. There's not one reference of him being gay. Oh, now you that trust Oliver history. Stone movie now you fucking trust fucking, history. Yeah, now you trust history. The whole Oliver Stone movie was him fucking dudes. Do you, and I looked at it up, I was like, it? man. Yeah, I mean, that was like the... Uh, do, you th do you think Oliver Stone knows history? Because I'm curious to know your I thoughts like on Stone. JFK and the assassination. I love Oliver Stone on JFK. And Wait, think, what did he say on JFK? He, he made yeah. the movie that basically like really popularized the conspiracy theories. The Kevin theories. Costner one? Yeah. Up yeah. and to the right. Oh. Yeah. Wait, but what's the? Back I thought the that, movie, that, movie, that movie heavily implies that there was a conspiracy to, to get right. Kennedy. It wasn't it's just close. like Beyonce. Other angle, it's mirror, exactly mirror. reverse. Uh, and, uh, it but, was like a much more underground thing before that. What's the idea that stuff? the guy up there, what Lee Harvey Oswald, didn't shoot him from the window? Was or that the idea? Yeah, the, yeah. Whoever else had. There was also some other people taking some shots. So he he did fire, but other people also fired. The shots hit him in the front, according to. A documentary I watched. But Lee shot, right? <laughs> While falling asleep, yes. <laughs> Lee shot, right? So at that point, what does it matter? I think the CIA killed JFK. <laughs> but, but there was another guy trying because to do it. Because he didn't want, no, I don't think Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald was a patsy. Of course he's a patsy. He was a CIA boy himself. Mm -hmm. They got a hold of him early. Do you subscribe that uh, Manson was a CIA boy? I mean, he was MK Ultra. That's, I you think, believe that 100%. Record. I think that's... True. And his dad was CIA. It was a LSD program CIA was doing. They were just like, hey, let's see what happens if we can. Can we use LSD to have mind control over yep. people? Mm -hmm. And it ended up resulting in a lot of people losing their fucking minds and being like violent psychos. Yeah. yeah. Like Charles Manson. Whitey Bulger was one. Did they stay fucking MK he was MK Ultra, Ultra Whitey in Alcatraz? Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Wow. Now, I knew he was an informant, but I didn't know that he was MK Ultra. He was MK Ultra. Oh. Is that. 
I mean, that's a pretty convenient line of thinking if you're like a mob guy that wants to believe that Whitey's real. You're like, oh, he wouldn't have snitched, but the oh, MK Ultra. No, I, I don't. I think they all snitch. I think every single mob guy snitches. Yeah. Isn't that Yeah, they're all little rats. I mean, if you get into the if you get into the job of committing crimes for money, I don't think you have the most moral backbone. And then when you're looking you're at 25 to, years, yeah, you go. Ah, but that was man. that started in like the 70s, right? The mafia started in the U.S. in like the 20s, and then for 50 years they couldn't crack it because nobody would roll over. No, I mean they would just pay whoever was in charge. It was a lot easier back then, I think. What do you mean they they would pay the the mob? You could buy people off, I think, a lot easier in the 20s. Ah, uh, you, you mean the government? Yeah, or the prosecutors? Yeah. Uh, okay, so then who ends up killing JFK? Have you heard Woody Harrelson's dad? Oh, is that, in that one's crazy. Yeah, what is that? This is crazy. That I don't really know crazy. the full details, but like now there's pictures of Woody Harrelson and RFK like hanging out together. Mm. And it's like, oh, his <laughs> dad killed his uncle. And it's like, what is going <laughs> because, on? Because Woody Harrelson's dad worked for the CIA. Yeah. And they're saying that it was Woody Harrelson's dad that kills JFK. Or is involved in the plot or actually pulls but the But the thing is, so many people out there, we only heard one shot. No, that's not true. There's literally interviews with people being like, I heard a shot from right there. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. And that's but they're the... saying they heard one. They're not no, saying no, no, they heard there multiple were, there shots. Were, there were multiple shots. Oh, I hear everyone saying, no, oh, JFK I heard a shot. shot Jeff, some JFK people say shot. I heard it from here. He got some... shot multiple times. He got one in the neck, one in the head. One went through him and bounced around the car. Mm, one, okay. The guy was pinpoint accuracy. One of them missed the car entirely and hit the curb. But wouldn't that be like a good... Like, it would sound like machine guns. One shot coming. I think from it was here, three. Also, it was if it's CIA, there, like, why would one guy be not accurate? Would they be like, hey, let's get our worst marksman to kill the president? I think if three guys are shooting, one missed. Oh, you have, whoa, I didn't know three guys. That's there's multiple saying. shooters. So you have two assassins that are CIA, and then you have one patsy. And the patsy, you blame it on, and then these guys get a job done. The only reason you have those two guys there is if you don't believe in this guy's ability to shoot them. Because if you believe that he could shoot him, why do you even have that? I guess my thing is like, if you have convinced Lee Harvey Oswald to shoot and he is going to shoot and he pulls the trigger and a bullet comes out, whether or not he's the one that kills them or somebody else. I think you just want to make sure you get it done. Because mm -hmm. if you miss, this is your one okay. shot. So then, then the then, second and third shot hit yeah, JFK. But, okay. We've all so, heard. But then well, Lee have, has, we, yeah. have we heard gunshots before? Yeah. You hear where it comes from. So yeah. if there's one coming from here, one coming from there, one coming from yeah. there. Yeah. It's like, but you would this, know there's multiple said that, Now you're saying this, and that's actually what happened. And so there are people. And there are literally interviews of people that were like, we heard gunshots from right there. It's called the magic bullet, right? Yeah. That's all. Well, the magic bullet. No, the, ma no, yeah. no, the magic bullet is how the Warren Commission explained how it went through yeah. the, ah, okay. his back and bounced around and <laughs> hit hit Senator Connolly or Governor they Connolly basically, or whatever. They have, to, they have to make two bullets out of one bullet. Yeah. yeah. Ah. And the bullet was totally unscathed. It was a totally. Yeah. So there's people. Somehow it bounced saying. off bones and didn't. Yeah. There's people saying that they've heard gunshots yes. from different places. From that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Look, some Fugazi people shit went down. People ran to the grassy knoll to try to find the shooter immediately. Wow. And people started down? running towards it. Wow. Yeah. So apparently Woody Harrelson's dad was a contract <laughs> killer. I, found, I figured it out. Oh, yeah, that's it. He was a contract <laughs> killer. He got convicted of killing uh, John H. Wood, was a judge. And then basically while they were trying to arrest him, he told him he was like, in a standoff, he was like, yo, I killed Kennedy. And then kind of fueled the rumor. Sick. And then they could, like kind of backed off of it, and he only got convicted of killing the one dude. Was he mafia? Yeah, apparently he was uh, like an organized, organized crime figure. Harrelson is what, like Norwegian or something? Yeah, yeah. but they probably could have outsourced just the contract killing. You're not in the mafia. Yeah, you can find one. If you're not Italian, but we can outsource killing. Yeah, but people. back in the day, mafia is like you got to be Sicilian. This yeah, is 19 what? 60. 60 something. 70 something. 60, what city? 68. Was uh, where was he living? Yeah. Uh, where was he doing all this? Love Lady, Texas. Yeah, but you could you could do business with the mafia without being there. mafia. Like, Seems who weird. The, who was the Jewish mobster that was a fucking he was Dutch a bad mobster? Schultz. No, was that he Meyer was like, Lansky? He Meyer was Meyer Lansky. Lansky. Yeah. Yeah. He worked with the mafia very closely, but they would numbers. never let him be mafia. It's good with yeah. numbers. <laughs> to, to be made men, you gotta be a uh, you yeah. gotta be Italian. But even be that in is like the mafia. They, they started splitting it where they were like, oh, you can be half. You have to be your father's side Italian. But no, initially, not even Italian, Sicilian specifically. Yeah, you couldn't be any Italian. They kind of eased up on that, but you could still. Do work for them without being in the mafia. That's I what I think they would do with. I them. do the same thing with my hands every time I get mic'd. 
You know, <laughs> God's own's my yeah. Just a cat. <laughs> just a cat. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. yeah, you can do Ooh. whatever you want. <laughs> nice. Yeah, JFK got killed by the CIA, bro. 100 100p. <laughs> you think we went to the moon? Be honest. I do. That that Wait, time? Why, like that. why CIA? Nah. Why CIA? Yeah. Because Kennedy, after the Bay of Pigs, was going to disband the CIA. And then he didn't want to go to Vietnam. A lot of people are going to make a lot of money. And he literally said, I'm going to disband the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but couldn't they just like, hey, next election, he's out. That's that's one argument. But then he got his head blown off on a parade. Theoretically, <laughs> you would send a message to anybody so, else who might want to get rid of the CIA. You're not going to get rid of the CIA. Ask yourself this. It's like, do you think the course of America is decided every four years? Or do you think that there's another force out there that's making the decisions that's going to protect mm. American interests for the next hundred years. And if the CIA is the decision maker there, then they're going to make sure that nothing gets in their way. Now, is the CIA working for these like billion dollar corporations as well? Possibly. Okay. So then if they're willing to go to those levels of taking out a president, then are they just top dog? Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Oh, so CIA is they. Yeah. Yes. The intelligence. Yeah. CIA, I think oh, so they is the CIA, they. Nancy Pelosi, <laughs> Why Chuck Nancy? Schumer, Why do you put Nancy in? Legacy uh, politicians. You put Nancy in they? McConnell? Yeah, Mitch was probably yeah, part of that. Now they're, they're getting them out of there. On it. The legacy politicians, the ones that don't have the term limits. I, don't so know, I also don't think it's a, this like secret cabal that like gets whoa, together. Whoa, 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 dude. That what? word. It's not. That word. But I don't think it's like a, they gather at a table. And no, like, it's, they all have the same interest. Here's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like, this is a machine. They're just a part of it. It's not like, that's the thing that with conspiracy theories, it gets confused that I do it myself where I'm like, they didn't like sit down and like, here's, I don't know. I don't know. Does yeah, that make sense? What I'm does, sense? But there's yeah. always, there's, there's always, not, there's not always as, as interconnected as you, as you think. You think. Yeah. But they all have the same interest. Even when people sit at, at a table, there's always a top. So who's the top? If the top depends on what need, what decision needs to be made. For example, let's say there's back a, then it was Dulles. Wait, huh? the Dulles, airport? like the Dulles Agreement? Yeah, Dulles Airport. That guy. He was the head of the CIA. The Dulles oh. brother. The Dulles brothers were like some of the worst bros of all time. And now, who would you say is top? I have, I have no idea. Well, who's the head of CIA? The fact that you don't even Hopefully know, Trump don't. we don't even know. <laughs> Is, is quite interesting to me. Hopefully Trump comes back and saves us. Yeah. <laughs> Red but, but there's the great argument, right? Where it's like anybody the CIA hated, you could make the argument might be doing the quote unquote right thing. Mm. So if the CIA takes out JFK, it's like, well, what was he trying to do? Take out the Shah of Iran. Take out Jaime Raldos in Ecuador. Take out Omar Torrios. Oh, keep going. Come on, bro. No, nah, keep going. Use you form a little fruit company and take out all the people. You know that what I mean? That was what Dulles did. That's what I'm saying. Mark Dulles, 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 Mark Dulles was a lawyer. Get that guy. And on behalf of corporate interests. Yes. Was, that's how he, that, those are all those banana republics, all that like yeah. fruit company. So fruit, you have a fruit yeah. company in Costa Rica. Yeah. And you need to make and sure you get your And all of a sudden that country goes, hey, these are we our resources. We want our bananas. We're not going to, you guys don't own these resources. This is our country's resource. Then all of a sudden the CIA sends the boys down there and yeah. lets you know that it's not your resources. Yeah. And they go, hey, there's an election coming up. Here's the new guy. He's going to win. And if your guy wins, we're going to, we're going to make we're gonna sure. We're going to support some rebels that are going to execute him. Yeah. We buy up the printing press, buy up the news, push some story. Yeah, Which yeah. is, you know, how we're doing this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If we were in Costa Rica, we wouldn't be doing this. We'd be out <laughs> fucking picking bananas for the Dulles Brothers. Yes. <laughs> so the same thing probably happens with oil. Same thing happens with precious minerals. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, obviously. We went to Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. But they had weapons of. Son of a bitch, they didn't. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. We got punk, dude. Where's Ashton? Fuck, yeah. dude. We thought there was WMDs God. the whole time. Damn it. So that's no, the question. Who's in charge? Maybe. But then, so here's the the real question is, right. do you want someone to be in charge? I don't even think anyone's in charge. I think it's just a... Do you want somebody to plot the course of America? I think it's easy to like, we do this thing where we sit here and we like, we bitch and complain and... uh and we go, these are the bad guys, and they're awful, and there's these yeah. conspiracies, and this, that, the other. But at the same time, we, like, love most of the shit that we get to indulge in because yeah. of all that. So not directly because of it, but partially because yeah, of it. Yeah, chef. Exactly. So it's like, 
I, there's part of me, if I'm them, I go, okay, y'all want to run it? Do you want to run it every four years? Yeah. Like, do you want every four years a new guy to come in and make all the new decisions? Or do you want someone else to plot the course of America? I don't know. I think we're drinking. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> For the record, none of us think we're right. That's a problem. Oh, you guys are scared. Yeah, you have a couple drinks and everybody that comes. We didn't say we're right. We just said, we just what do we fun. want? We're having a nice we're having fun. Yeah, we we're having fun. We fought around. We're having fun. No, I want Biden to make I never choices. see you guys pull back. Like, this <laughs> I is want funny. Biden to make. I, I like Biden making some decisions. This is the thing about conspiracy <laughs> theories, though. Like you said, anybody who gets killed, you could be like, oh, the CIA didn't like them. Yes. Yeah, it's very that convenient. Is. That is. That is the hard part. But yeah, Google, see if. See who Hinckley had dinner with before he shot right. Here's the one thing, though, is you keep treating Google like For it's real. an absolute fact. Yeah, but... No, like, I know, but there's interesting things where you're like, wait, that retarded guy, Hinckley, had dinner with, like, the Bushes. Don't, Steve, this, don't, this, <laughs> don't do this, Hinckley. Hold right? on. Yeah, like hold something on. That just insane. Hold on, don't do this Hinckley connection, because you know where Hinckley connects the Obamas and the Bushes. Where? Where? You don't know this? Hmm. Oh, Tripoli told me this. Tripoli's on top of it. Oh, Tripoli <laughs> is fucking on it, dude. If I'm the CIA, I'm hiring him immediately on some yeah. like catch me if you can shit. Like you you figured out how our, all our shit works, so now you have to work for us. But Hinckley is the connection for, uh, from a Bush to Obama. Apparently Bush and Obama are relatives or something, distant relatives. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude, dude, I've been trying to get this guy on my pod for so Hinkley? long. So, I, I think so you can long. get him. I've been emailing him nonstop. He's hit me back a couple times. He's a musician now. Oh, yeah. He, he's a musician. Hinkley? You can get yeah. Hinkley. You should have a live band. The here. Reagan guy? Yeah. Yes. He shot Reagan. He got out a year and a half ago. And I've been emailing him. Look every at his connectivity between Obama. Because, with, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> if, if Hinkley hits Reagan and, and actually kills him? kills him, who becomes president? What? Bush. H George H w. Bush. Bush. H.W. Mm -hmm. Now look Head at. Head of the CIA. Bush. Who was? The what? Head of the CIA. So the head of the CIA, Bush, would have become president if Hinckley did the thing he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Look at his connection to Obama. I mean, this is this. Don't is, have oh. don't have a Schultz epiphany, fellas. Don't have a Schultz epiphany. This is don't have you, a Schultz epiphany. This right is now. how you drink beer. There we go. <laughs> you get a couple beers, you go, yo. Let me tell you something about Hinkley. <laughs> yo, shout out <laughs> to Sam Tripoli, bro. Nah, this is amazing beer. I'm, it's ridiculous. All right, so we got a uh, okay. relationship with Barack Obama and Hinckley. <laughs> yeah, I made an awesome website. Let's go. Shouts out to Famous Kin. So you got Samuel Hinckley. Wait, Barack Obama and Hinckley are related? <laughs> Keep going. All right, so you just kind of take it all the way down. Keep on going. going. Keep Shoot. on going. Almost there any second now. Boom, the smoking gun right in front of your eyes. John Hinckley Jr., Barack Obama. Dude, but how is and it? Dunham, but there, there, Zunamama. no connection. But that has nothing. to yeah, do Yeah, look with how any. many generations far yeah, back. Yeah, this are. is gibberish. Ninth cousins twice removed. Are you trying to say that Sam Tripoli would lie to me? Yeah, but that even if that's true, that's yeah. pointless. That doesn't matter. I don't know my five cousins. Yeah, yeah, I've that doesn't matter. I would cousins. fuck. Yeah, I would yeah. fuck. <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of That's people. A wild here, name, dude. dude. My name is Babe Ruth yeah. Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson Dunham. <laughs> yeah, but if you go back far enough, dude, it's all coming together. Yeah. I feel like I have to call Tripoli right yeah. now and have. I mean, him yeah, this is stuff. so disappointing. I mean, well, this is crap. But Obama could, was from Africa before this. Yo, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of, this is not a conspiracy. Obama's alleged brother is going wild. You see that guy? Oh Obama, yeah, yeah, Obama. yeah. Is that his real brother? It's always the. It's always the siblings, bro. Jealous. We can call him black sheep. <laughs> 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 Were you about to call him black sheep? Because <laughs> that's a black sheep. Yeah. <laughs> that is a black as hell sheep, bro. dude. I've you're... seen you handle video games. I, it's not well. <laughs> I quit the first that's time we played. we met. Yeah, we met in at Helium in Philly. I, I That was when I was bringing the PS4 around. And I was like... You're like, I'm playing Madden. I was like, I'm, I'll come fuck you up if you want. But... You got the first one. I got the first two. Made your ass quit. Dude. Third game, you made, made me quit. You, made and that's his because ass quit. Dude. That's because you put you. <laughs> I was up like the Broncos playbook that year scores. was trash. Hit you, I ran onside, drew, hit you with an onside kick at halftime. You Crazy. Sean Payton me. Crazy. You Sean Payton me at that super. It made me so mad. <laughs> he was up twenty one, and I go, well, "Let's just play another game." Like we're running out of time, <laughs> and you go for for the rest of our friendship. You kept going. You quit. You made your ass quit. Oh, you got to take the whooping. I did take. I got whooped. You got it. Did we never? Did we ever play against each other in NCAA? Yeah, 
You beat did? me. When we when I was in that league during the pandemic. Oh, that was fun. Where we, I was, that was the most nervous I've ever been for a video game. <laughs> it's so nervous. I would, I would have to go. It was Online Shane. Dives. It was guys you used to coach. Yeah, yeah. Little you know, kids I used to coach. Little kids used to coach. And yeah, we, I, got an, I got an underage and had to do community service, so I coached. I love that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're like that Keanu Reeves movie where he teaches <laughs> black kids baseball. <laughs> That's you. But he, Shane was like, all right, these guys, they were like young. They were Dude, like, we were in an online dynasty back then. They were all in eighth grade. I was like <laughs> out of college. I was running the score up on them. Wait, really? That's yeah. how young they were? Yeah. I, I thought they were at least like sophomores <laughs> no, in high school. They were in eighth grade. And I was killing it. Dude. To Daddy's... this day, they believe I was cheating. <laughs> well, what's funny is because there's no chat on Xbox Live or it wasn't convenient. Damn, I forgot you were in the online dynasty with Yeah, us. and you would, you would call. You would call and get on the And I, yeah. I don't know these guys. The first time I talked to them would be the t- <laughs> when they would text me their number because in the group chat, and I'd call these guys. I picked Arizona. Big mistake. Crazy move. Crazy move. The offense was really good. This is from damn. I forgot how serious you took it too. Yeah, it you was, were like this year's where it's a down year. We're rebuilding. I was like, <laughs> I would do that thing. I would do the, the excuse I always do when I lose. Well, yeah, you were a shitty team, but I was Arizona. But they had a good offense, so I would stay in the game. I could just never close it out. Yeah. I lost every game by seven to ten. I points. was cheering for you too. Ah man, I knew was, how much you wanted it. I wanted one. I wanted one win over a human. I won against the computer on every because we played on Heisman. Yeah. It's the computer. What's better than a pandemic online dynasty? Dude, it was... That was the best. I'll tell you right now, I would take Myrtle for a walk yeah. and kind of dream up little scenarios, schemes, schemes. I would call up and be like, I right. lost in the championship that year. Who were you? I forget who You I weren't was. Notre Dame. No. Were you Oregon you State? Tennessee? Nah, you were in Tennessee. Was it SEC and Pac-12? Yeah. Because I was Arizona. That's... I packed... It was the... Where I was, USC? No. You weren't USC. You UCLA. were. It was someone. I think it was someone in the SEC. Mm. So maybe, maybe you might have been Tennessee. Auburn. That's what it, it was. was. Auburn. Do you? It's funny. Is it would you'd see the schedule because we did custom schedules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would play each other, and you would like I'd get two wins, and I'd be like, dude, this running back's kind of sick. And then one of your boys would be on, and I'd be like, oh fuck. And I'd be like. <laughs> <sighs> Getting ready to call him, dude. It felt nervous. It felt like a first date. It was, it was <laughs> like, like, it's like, are you going to be home at 6 p.m. so we can get the online? That's what it was. It, yeah, I'd be like, I'm doing there. bonfire until 8. <laughs> but then I'll, I'll, and then like, I would go smoke a bowl and take Myrtle for a walk and be like, let's go, cats. <laughs> let's go, cats. <laughs> Giving myself speeches on a walk through New Jersey where I'm like, this is everything you fucking wanted. We got to do that with the new one. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. How like excited are you? going to be, I can't wait. Do you, and That's you when said, I'm done. Yesterday you the said we're done when it comes out. <laughs> I'm done. I'm tired. They follow it on paper <laughs> yeah. and they go like, "Dude, SNL, this yeah. guy's at the top. Why? What's the drop?" Yeah, that's then, gonna be my Chappelle going to Africa. Yeah, NCAA comes out. I'm going home. And then it's just you. Do, you do a long sets talking about NCAA. You go. <laughs> you know that goes into a lot and do recruiting, <laughs> but sometimes somebody will sign with a rival. <laughs> I wonder how they do it. Do you think they're doing it? You said that you read they're not doing it the same as Madden. And for those of you that don't care about NCAA college football, fuck off politely yeah. for 10 minutes. Yeah, this is a big deal for us. It's a huge deal. It's still real to me, damn it. It's still real to me. <laughs> I explained that to Mullen. It. Mullen had never seen that clip, really? and I was telling him, I was hey, like, Hey, take it easy, buddy. He goes, right, that's my favorite. He goes, all right, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> it's just what you guys have done with your bodies. It's still real to me, damn it. Dude, um, had an eye- dude this is where, you know how many NCAA games are going to happen? This is where this I'm catch. Gonna- I'm going to put a nail in your coffin. This is it. What did I told you, dude? I'm from I'm the darkness. I was molded NCAA. by that. You think I'm afraid of an L? I'm going to be so good at this game. Bring I'm going to devote my life to it. Dude, I'm going to... I'm going to... I cannot wait. No name might have, never lose a game. I'm going to have Dez come down and teach me the ways. Dez is not... Well, yeah, Dez cheats. Because of the passing thing? Yeah, he runs See? bullshit plays. There you go. Fuck I mean, you, if Dez. you say it. Nice. <laughs> Who else do we know that plays NCAA? Because we, we can't have people... That don't know the game. No, they're fun to have though. Little cupcakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, those are round one. Yeah, you, you got to do the you seating get properly. In there. He's never played it. Just run the oh. score up on him, dude. And then what we can do is, well, here's the fun part. We can do a seating tournament to see who gets seated where. Yeah, and then then they get to pick teams first. Yeah. Yeah, start yeah, Shane's that. tired. Shane doesn't want to be here. Yeah. Shane's Sh- done with that. Shane had too many beers before the show. <laughs> Shane wants to sit down. Shane tried to loosen up before the show. Got a little too loose. Yeah. Now I can't talk good. Shane's going to say some slurs. <laughs> or slur. <Yeah. laughs> Dude, I can we please follow through on this NCAA yes. house in tournament? Dude, yes. 
I'm, I'll bring my like, PlayStation. Absolutely. We'll bring multiple PlayStation 5s. Multiple, yeah. With multiple <gasps> games going. Multiple games Simultaneously. Going in houses. Who can we invite? Oh, the, the food. The oh, food's going to be crazy. The food will be crazy. Yeah. The atmosphere. 